All right. Well, praise the Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for giving me this opportunity to come together with my sisters and my brothers. And I just want to bless Mama Janice from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord. I pray for Holy Ghost jailbreak, Holy Ghost breakthrough, divine health, healing, and wholeness to flow from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord. I pray for an open heaven of provision and resources to come from the north, south, east, and west and come into this house and into her bosom, Lord. For we, were, we put you in remembrance of your word. You said that you would supply every one of our needs. And I thank you, Lord, that your word is truth. And you said we put you in remembrance of your word. You said, beloved, I wish above all that you would be in good health and prosper, even as your soul prospers. So I thank you for the material wealth. I thank you for the healing and the wholeness that comes into our heart and our spirit and our soul and in our body. And I just want to thank you, Jesus, that you are this holy word. And we reverence it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now, this morning as I was getting ready, the Lord, he gave me a revelation. And he said that our problem is not sin. Our problem is unbelief. Okay? Our problem is not, and it has never been sin. The church always makes our problem about sin. But if you know the word, and his name is Jesus, this word, whose name is Jesus, he knew no sin. And what did he do? He became our sin. That we might become what? the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Can I get a witness? Amen. Jesus was the Lamb of God who was slain before the foundation of the world that he might what? He might take away our sins and he also did another thing. What was that? He might destroy the works of the devil. Amen? Amen? So before mankind was ever created, God already knew that the Lamb was going to be slain. Amen. God is our mission. He knows everything. He knew that we were going to need a Redeemer. He knew that we were going to need a Savior. So He already made the provision before the world and we were ever created. Is that not awesome? Amen. So, if Jesus was the Lamb of God, who was slain before the foundation of the world, that he might take away the sin of the world. When Jesus died, sin died. So the sins that we commit right now is one reason the Lord said, because we don't believe the word. Who's Jesus? So our very unbelief is the open door that Satan has to attack us and to attach himself to our heart, to our spirit, to our soul, and in our body. Isn't that a good revelation? So when we sin, if Jesus, who knew no sin, became our sin, can I get a witness? All right? I got the keys. I'm sorry, I was young. Oh, that's all right, huh? Okay. of the world that he might take away the sin of the world and that he might destroy the works of the devil. Amen. That's why Jesus came. He came to take away the sin of the world and he came to destroy the works of the devil. Can I get a witness? Amen. So, if that's why Jesus came, 
Jesus also died. When Jesus died on the cross, sin died. So when we sin, it's the sin of unbelief. Disobedience plus unbelief equals death. God gave me that revelation this morning. Disobedience plus unbelief equals death. I'm going to prove it to you. In the garden, hath God said in the day that you eat of that pretty little apple that you will surely die? So they were at a fork in a row. They knew what God said. But the thief was so subtle in his little seduction that he caused them to doubt God's word. So when they, disobe when they disobeyed, it was because of their unbelief. They didn't believe that God said, in the day you eat, you can eat of every tree in this garden. They had a choice, the tree of life which they could have lived forever. Or they were seduced for the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We were never supposed to know good and evil. We were only supposed to have life and that more abundantly. Amen. Jesus said the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I come to give you life. I came to give you life more abundantly. Jesus says I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life, I'm the light. I am the way, I am the doorway to my Father. Nobody gets to my Father except through me because I'm the door. Can I get a witness? All right? So, when Jesus died, okay, so check it out. Disobedience plus unbelief equals death. When they disobeyed and ate the apple, it was because they didn't believe God's word, and then death entered into mankind. So, when they yielded, and when death came, they had to hurry up and get Adam and Eve out of the garden. Why? Because if they would have went immediately and ate of the tree of life, mankind would have been damned forever. Get it? Because they already ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and they sinned. They had never sinned before. They were innocent. They were made, they were one with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. But it wasn't the Son yet. He was the Word. Get it? He was the Word. He only became the Son of God when he was born of the Virgin Mary. Get it? Get a witness. Okay. So he they were made, Adam and Eve were made one with God. They were spiritually alive in every way. Okay? They had a direct hotline to the throne room. The Father came and walked with them in the cool of the day, remember? So they had an open relationship. They had total oneness. They walked with God. They talked with God. But it was, and they were naked physically, but they didn't know it until they sinned. Because when they sinned, they knew they were, way, they were naked. They had the knowledge of good and evil. They knew that they had sinned. And then what did they do? They ran for a fig leaf to cover themselves. And they hid. Because their disobedience brought shame. Get it? When you disobey God because you do not believe his word, it causes you to be ashamed. Shame causes us to run from God instead of running to God. Amen? So, let's see. I don't want to get too off track. Okay. With whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So if the Son, so if Jesus set us free on the cross and we are still in bondage, then is the sin with Jesus who shed his blood or is the sin with us because we don't believe he set us free and we continue to be entangled again with the yoke of bondage in which we have been freed from. Can I get a witness? Hey, precious! 